What's good, YouTube? Mario Devon here, your YouTube uncle. You know how I always say that, all right? Teaching you youngsters how, how to get the best shots and how to do the damn thing, okay? So, I'm not a vlogger, but I bought the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, and this thing has been taking the, the, the vlogging game by storm, and it's pretty much sold out. You can barely buy one of these things. So I wanted to be one of you today. In this review, it's gonna be clips all over the place from just various times. I've had this thing for two months, and I wanna bring you a review of this, this just the culmination of my experience with it and what I think about it and also give you some details about the product. So you're gonna be seeing present me, future me, past me, every me. There's gonna be a lot of different Mario's and different aspects and, and, and environments on your screen, but enjoy, sit back. It's gonna be a longer video and I'm gonna just give you a definitive review of the product. So first off, most important thing about this camera, we all know it is a gimbal. So that means right now I'm just walking regular. I'm not even thinking about, you know, doing my ninja walk, which would be weird to do a ninja walk while you're walking around the city, but not even doing anything like that. I'm just simply walking around doing my thing. So we know it's a gimbal, that's number one. Number two is rocking a one inch sensor. That one inch sensor also shoots up to 4K 120. I've even heard people say that, oh, you pretty much got an A7S III in your pocket. I wouldn't go that far, but you know, it is pretty dope that it can do that. The other thing is before we go on, I'm gonna add an ND filter on this thing because I can see I'm a little bit overexposed. All right, that's a little better. I wanted to get the exposure right. Now, the reason why I'm making sure the exposure is right is because this thing does shoot 10 bit 420. Let's be specific. A lot of people People think it's 422 but I can tell you I, I play with a lot of footage enough to let you know it is 420 it shoots 10 bit it also has an HLZ profile so obviously it is 2024 that's weird to say I have to make sure I say it, it is 2024 so it does have vertical shooting integrated in it and the way you activate that is with the incredible you know two inch screen that you flip as soon as you flip it you can activate that you know that portrait that portrait vertical mode that a lot of us already shoot in with our phones and even with our cameras a lot of time. Now, what you're hearing me on is the, obviously, the new DJI mic version two. I'm only saying obviously because you've all gotten many videos on this thing already, but it comes with this when you buy the creator combo. 4K, uh, 4K 60, again, A7CR using the new 7200G Master version two. Uh, favorite indie filters to use is the Nissi indie filters, the uh, True Color um, variable indie that comes in different packs. So right now, this is the first layer. You can actually add a second layer of indie that's also variable. Uh, so that's what I'm testing out too. It also comes with different things like a handle if you want to use a handle to, to get better grip on it. And it also has a battery extender. So right now I'm not using that battery extender, but I will be putting it on when I actually get to a more stabilized, like stable area where I can actually talk to you all. So, all right, I decided to take a seat so I could really talk about this camera a little bit more. Obviously it's very bright out here. So it's really plus to have an ND filter to really get this thing dialed in. Other things it features, all right, we have the carrying case right here believe it or not you have your 15 millimeter adapter right here and the other thing I actually put here you can put that black mist filter if you get that but I use my ND filters I always like to keep an ND 16 right here just in case we have a situation like this and wow it is it is it is loud it is active today on this Saturday in Nashville Tennessee now when I grab go through my pockets what you'll see is this is the battery extender this right here because i never know when i need to just snap something on the tripod and talk to you because right now i just have the pocket sitting on this table and it's doing its thing so also i forgot how weird it was talking to yourself on camera in public it is it is it is quite the experience but <laughs> you know what for you because i'm so sacrificial for you i'll do it She's like, that a shark? Why did I buy this? Okay? I'm going to tell her why. But I'm going to tell her why while I'm telling you. Okay? I bought it because I do a lot of shoots. And I do a lot of teaching. Educating. I'm like a professor of yeah. some sort. 
you know, uh, they teach people. That, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, hey, hey, move this here, move that there. It's a conference circle, as you were saying. Math. Brother, you teach me, though, if I wanted to be a blogger. No. That's not, that's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. But you can tell me how to use it. Right? I can, but I won't. Okay. That's fine. I think he talked like when he was filming. Our Image quality is going to be number one. All right. Number one, I wanted something that didn't look like a phone. This thing, because of that one inch sensor and obviously the programming, processing, design of this product, it looks like a camera. It literally looks like a real camera that is like a, it like, like my a7 IV, obviously the a7 IV looks better, but it is right there. It's on par with a professional camera. That's what I'm trying to say. What I've also noticed is the 10 bit lock is extremely flexible. I just can change whatever colors I want. I can control those highlights and shadows pretty well and it retains a lot of detail. I'm actually shocked at how much I can push this image. Second feature is active track. All right, so obviously image quality is extremely important to, to you, me, someone like us. But the active track is the reason why I actually bought this thing because I already have a plethora of cameras. So if I wanted to get footage really quickly, I do have a small A7CR, love it to death, but it can't track you, all right? It can't move around its head and its neck looking at you everywhere you're walking. Time lapses are easy on this thing. I don't really do hyperlapse time lapses, but if you're looking to just have a setting to go right into it, it is literally already in the settings. The other thing I love about it is just like my professional cameras, I can set three custom modes. I can set, you can actually set, I think five custom modes, but I really just want 4K 24, 4K 60, and 4K 120, great times. I've already referenced it, but vertical shooting is a big deal, you know, in 2023, 2024, it's 2024 now but I, i've been using this camera obviously since 2023 but it is a big deal because of you know TikTok, instagram just where we are in the world youtube shorts even all right everyone's shooting their videos vertically even some professional clients prefer to have that vertical video edit the wide angle lens on here i had to do some testing and, and i'm going to show you some footage of that but i wanted to make sure it wasn't glaring the existing camera is 20 millimeters you add the wide angle it is 15 millimeters and that is pretty much where we want that focal length to be when we're vlogging but i was just testing it out in the sun direct sunlight to see like does it really ghost does it like I, I you know i felt like my image was less sharp for some reason when i was using it but like just instant testing it looks just fine i've I, I realized it looked just fine and i'm just freaking out okay just paranoid the other thing that some of you may care about i really don't care about this one but i know a lot of you this may be your main camera it's product showcase so you're reviewing a product maybe you maybe you are a makeup reviewer and you want to make sure you put something in front of the screen you know you don't have to you know how they used to do they used to have to put their hand up and then you ain't got to do that it already in product showcase is already built in so you ain't gotta use your hands anymore to make sure things are in focus we have audio again so two negatives about this camera all right so with the active active track the only way to get your framing exactly how you want to me is you have to go into the i think it's dynamic framing where you can actually frame it up exactly how you want let me show you that really quickly since we're here yeah with dynamic framing here i am i'm using it all you have to do is literally tap it again hit that joystick again and you're able to pretty much reframe how you want that way say for instance if you want to get you know yourself on the side just like this and i'm able to get my environment okay so that could be something you want to do you know i'm a selfish creator because i don't give a damn about nobody else being in my frame it's going to be me so <laughs> for you you may want to show your environment using this wide angle lens especially as i'm using dynamic framing you'll see we're going to reset it we're going to bring it over to this side so now you're able to see yet again the chaos that is downtown Nashville. the other major negative to me is that i love having the this wide angle you know adapter that i'm using right now but i haven't seen it i haven't seen it yet where you can stack this and that's what i'm waiting on is can you stack these together to get a wide and controlled image 
and that is going to be a big negative for me but it won't be for you because this camera is not for me you know what i mean this camera is not for someone like me that is a cinematography professional this camera is for someone that's just getting started this camera is for someone that doesn't really know much about cameras which is why i'm using this auto mode to use this wide angle lens most of the people that would see this footage maybe on your channel when you get started they're not going to give a shit about if you are properly exposed they're not going to give a shit about if you know if you have an ND filter with you or making sure your motion blurs a certain way. They're not gonna give a damn about that. So that camera, those camera enthusiasts are not consuming your content because they wanna see you get this professional image. Now, for you, for you suckers, y'all are watching me because you wanna see a professional do this. So I'm trying to be an amateur right now. I'm trying to not care about my ND filters right now. I'm trying to just get the information to you right now and that's the i think that's the i think that's the main audience for people that need to buy this camera So the last thing I wanted to cover, and I came up to a rooftop because I'm gonna do another video uh, in a second, but what is the main, wh why did I buy a camera? Why would someone like me that is a professional need this? The number one reason why I bought this thing is because I wanted to be able to create better educational videos. And honestly, I like setting up something like my A7IV that I'm shooting on now. You can see the image and compare them. I like shooting on that for BTS, but it's just something about having something like the Osmo that as you can see, I'm just moving around. Not on this frame here but I'm moving around and and I'm literally able to move around in this thing with track now I'm gonna leave this a7 IV over here for a second and we're just gonna talk on the pocket all right so I'm here on this pocket I'm moving around I'm able to literally go anywhere and I've already been testing this out you know on actual jobs and it works perfectly as a BTS camera because the image quality is good but I'm also still able to just walk around and have a conversation and walk around and interact with my client I'm gonna go back into the camera frame here on the uh, a7 IV so I, I just love having that flexibility the other thing and this is something that I I didn't foresee is that there is a little bit more intimacy and in when you're using this I will say as I was walking around the city talking to the camera even filming just b-roll it was so much easier than having my a7 IV or my fx3 out getting footage not not necessarily because I'm not able to get the image that I want obviously you know it Sony cameras are ridiculous but it's it's more so about having something so small and so intimate and so inconspicuous that you know having a camera even even though the Sony cameras are pretty small it's still you know it's still a, a professional camera so being able to just walk around it was so weird literally no one paid attention to the camera like they would look like what is that but you know very few and far between but no one cared you know that the camera was out at all no one thought about it so I think that's really cool and the other side of intimacy is it it, it made it a, a lot easier for me to feel like I'm connecting with you all. Like I'm always connecting with y'all and we always talking and we doing our thing, but it felt just way more natural because I'm able to be in a natural habitat and just do my thing. So it's kind of crazy. I, I thought that you'll see, I, I took it to LA with me and it was so much fun just having it. Not necessarily just because of, oh, it's a new camera gear, but I like creating in all aspects. So it was just fun having something that was so, accessible but also so small but so inconspicuous all at the same time to just capture life around you and then when you add that to being able to have this this small package and it being this good and this powerful 4k 60 4k 120 I shot all those things today like wow it, it is it is it is a product man I, I mean they knocked it out of the park I, I think it may be the best camera that you can get on the market today if you're just starting off if you don't need an interchangeable lens so although I I know that this camera over here not here this one too is is, is a good beginner camera for people but this one here this one is made specifically for beginners and I know that 
But it's interesting to see that a lot of you professionals out there can probably get a lot of use out of it too. So in the next video, you can see that we kind of got these cameras matching, all right? I have it going. So in the next video related to the DJI Osmo Pocket, we're actually gonna go through some color grading, how I color graded the footage and how you can even better color grade your Osmo Pocket 3 footage. I will see you all in the next video. I love y'all.